Hey guys, a bit of a different video compared to my usual style today. Actually, I'm in Florida right now. This video was taken about a week before I left for vacation. We were out catfishing and we were just smashing them like we were on the catfish. I think we caught like 30 plus catfish that day and they're all over 30 inches sort of thing. And we ran into a couple of brand new anglers, just random strangers, uh, sort of seen them there and they're using all the wrong lures and while well, they're brand new so they didn't really know what they were doing. Anyways, they saw us slaying the catfish so they came up and approached us and uh, asked us for some tips and so this video here is just some extra footage during the day that I got of us basically helping them. We got them rigged up with the proper setup. We gave them some of our rigs and basically got them all set up and we basically taught them, um, you know, catfishing 101 basically taught them how to do it from start to finish even how to hold the fish and how to take a photo with the fish and all that like i said brand new anglers the best part is we actually got them hooked up on their very first fish like ever if you guys are looking for tips on how to catch big catfish watch through the whole thing we give them tips throughout the whole video so there's not really a certain part where we just show them the rig and that's it so check out the video and i hope you guys enjoy it Yeah, so what what you want to get is just pick up some of these oh, catfish these rigs yeah. from Cabela. So they're the octopus hooks, so like they're a circle hook like that. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so you, same same deal, right? Um, yeah, this looks good. And like that this looks, looks good, good. That looks fine. I just change just the hook. replace replace oh, okay. that jig with I think a catfish I have some hook. Bigger ones, not as big as this, but yeah, you got go with like the octopus hook like this, where it's circle, yeah. because once they hook themselves on there, they're stuck. Uh, right so this right yeah um i might have a couple spare hooks like this i can give yeah, you guys you just keep it we could uh, this one yes, some yes. If you want no it's all right no, here there's just, there's just two hooks it. right there Thanks yeah so yeah Thank no you problem really appreciate very yeah. inexperienced fishers here yeah you it's got, all good you man. got more minnows yeah yeah i was perfect. i was i was gonna walk over there and chat with you guys <laughs> later oh. because i was watching you guys i think i saw you guys using like those little twister tails like yeah. the soft yeah. baits i was yeah, like yeah. Eh, probably won't work here work. <laughs> so <laughs> i was gonna come over there and... a carp with one, but yeah <laughs> uh -huh. but yeah try those hooks okay. so yeah just uh everything's good here okay um this one already has comes with a line tied on it like that right so you just tie it over here how you have that's this okay. right the weight, that's fine. The bobber, that's fine. Actually, if you don't mind, can you help me do it? Help you tie it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah, you no problem. That yeah. rod that rod I'm using is for walleye. That's why you see me struggling with these catfish yeah, so bad. Yeah, this is for walleye too. Yeah. <laughs> catfish are like really strong. Yeah, you need, yeah. You, you should you be using like a catfish rod like this. Uh -huh. um, otherwise, you'll be fighting them for like 10 minutes like I was on that rod. Yeah. Like, Yeah, well, I was thinking uh, when I catch the first one, yeah. I'm going to go and get a better rod. Yeah. <laughs> Today is like the fourth day we are trying. Yeah. Good luck. Nice. Let's see here. Oh, we're on again. <laughs> nice. You see how it's taking line? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's so it doesn't snap. Because okay. uh, if I um, if I had it too tight here, uh -huh. it would just break off. That's the drag on your reel there? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm trying to make sure the rod's always bent. Uh -huh. So that's keeping the hook in its mouth. Right. Whoa. There he is. See, it's taking all the line. Yeah. You let it let it do that until it tires itself out. Uh, then the first fish I had today, um, I had this set too tight and it just broke it. It broke the whole thing off. So I lost my little float and my hooks and everything. Oh, look at the gash on this guy's mouth. Look at the gash oh, in this guy's mouth, man. Oh, yeah, ouch. 
he is. This guy's damaged. You want to measure him? Yep. Oh. All right. Oh, buddy, come on. He does not want to be measured. Come on. Come on. 30. One and a half. Thirty-one and a half. Yeah. Nice. Here, and then to hold it, you stick your hand in behind the gill, uh -huh. and then it kind like I put it in the corner of his mouth. Okay. They don't have teeth. They're no, they don't have teeth. Sort yeah. of. Oh, okay. They're not gonna bite you. They have got. Oh, okay. Can you see? Yeah, you can see the little ones. Yeah. So that's all they have. It's like sandpaper. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing right here but uh, they can really squish. Yeah. What kind of weights do you use? I'm not using any. Yeah. I'm just using two little split shots. Like little, those little bead weights, split shot. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is fine. This is all you need this for is to cast. Yeah. 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 You're just letting the thing float. Previously, uh, I was using this weight only, and what's happening was it you're going to get snagged stopped. on the bottom, yeah. So then I watched a bit more YouTube. That. Oh, um, is there a little switch on there at the back of your reel? Yeah. Uh, click it for me. There we go. And you want to loop this. That's your drag. So if I was the That's fish, the drag that we were talking and I'm about pulling. there. I think right, yeah, I want that to happen. Yeah, that's pretty okay. loose still though. But um, this line uh -huh. you guys have looks pretty light. Like it's gonna yeah, be hard it's, to it's catch a, a catfish. Pound. Yeah. So you think there's a good chance of this thing snagging? Snapping? Yeah. It's, yeah. You'll have to like. <laughs> you get a fish. Well, on here? you're on. You're on this line with a with a hook here. This line's fine. Yeah. This line. Okay. This is the challenge right here. Yeah. No, I'm on a walleye setup. I think I'm, I'm also on a 10 pound line. <laughs> I'm on 30 pound. Yeah. You want to go at least 25 for next time. Sure. And then when the fish grabs it, you notice your bobber, I don't know, moves, it'll go down. underwater. Yeah, it'll go underwater. Then water. you know you got a fish. So then um, I take the tension out of my line and bring my rod tip pointed at the lake or the water and then pull it up and that basically sets the hook in its cheek. Um, you want to wait a little bit before you set the hook uh, for the catfish because if that circle hook has to work its way in there. You in want it in their mouth. Yeah. So basically there's no rush in like, oh no there's a fish. We gotta yeah. It's, it's not like a that. huge rush but also you don't want to... You don't want to wait too long because they, can, they because can they can still spit it out. They can also get it in their stomach yeah. and if they like get it in there then it's a real yeah, you, know, you have a hard time to, to have a hard time taking that hook back out but uh okay, you're good there yeah this should be this should be good like you have a so weight you got to your cast. catfish line the shrimp down here that looks that looks good yeah yeah I cast right there, your bobber. yeah give that a try sure. so you just cast it out there and then uh you just wait you watch your bobber if it starts moving too much, moving too close to the shore, maybe really back in, cast it a little bit further out, okay. and then you just wait and oh, when that bobber under. goes down. Thank you. And minnows work too. Right? Yeah. Minnows will work, but shrimp is a ticket here okay. for catfish. Yeah, people have been using worms. Yeah, worms minnows, will work good. Um, chunks of gold eye, like just okay. fish, like bait fish meat. Okay, but, so basically uh, just superstore stuff. Yeah. yeah, well you can buy them. Yeah, you can buy them. the shrimp superstore oh, stuff. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, you just put it in. Here. I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give that a try, guys. Thank you so good much. Luck. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what are your names? I didn't get your names. Nico. And Nico. Nico and Nick. Nico yeah. and Nick. <laughs> okay, my name is Nabil. And this Hi, is Hardy. Nice yeah. To you nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. And you said your YouTube uh, channel was. Yeah, outdoors. I'll show you guys uh, what it outdoors. looks like so you guys can find it. Good luck. Thank you. We'll need a lot of that. <laughs> oh, you won't need that much with that kind of setup. You guys will get one. Nico, yeah. Check their drag. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, I think he uh, fixed it for me. Okay, I see this. They're gonna need a loose. Oh, that's pretty loose. So that's to tighten it, and that's to loosen it. Right? Okay. That's gonna be fine like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're good. There you go. Good job, man. All right, hang on. Yeah, keep her tight. Yeah, and then you want to pull. This is hard. Don't 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 continue to reel too much. You want to reel and then pull, and then wait for him. Wait for him. Just make sure that the the, the rod tip is always bent. Good. Yeah, come closer. Closer here. Oh yeah. Nice. Hey, I told you we'd get you guys on a fish. Oh, there you go. Oh, well, you guys are awesome. Okay, okay, stop reeling. And pull with the rod, yeah. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I think it's really Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> he doesn't oh, want to no. come back. Okay, hang on. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. All right, hang on, let me grab him. Okay. Let me grab him. <laughs> I don't know what the rule is. They have to be small enough. I don't know off the top of my head. Okay. There you go, man. Now you guys gotta come hold it and get a picture. Yeah. There's your fish. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me wash him here. Okay. All right. You guys go ahead and hold them. So remember how we showed you how to hold it? Just yeah. right there you in his gills? You don't have to stick your thumb in its mouth if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's easier. They become more docile if you put your thumb inside his gills there. Yeah. It's pretty tight. Yeah. yeah. One finger in the gill, one finger in the mouth. And then the other hand, you just support him on the bottom of the tail and hold him straight. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Hold hold them up. What you want to do is you want to put your arms out as far as you can. Make them look bigger than this. <laughs> it makes yeah. them look really big. Mm -hmm. Further, farther. Like put put your arms up farther this way. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Damn. There you go. First big catch. Good job, awesome. man. Awesome. So now we just let it go. Yeah. yeah. We got these guys on their first fish. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's a good cat. Do you, do you want to measure it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. let's measure it. Put its head there. So make sure he's kissing the, the front there. Yeah, there you go. 31. 31. 31 inches. There you go, bud. Not bad at all. Is that your very first fish then? Pretty much, yes. Yeah? Nice. Yep. All right, so you just let him in. Put his head back in there, and then you just hold his tail, kind of guide him in. There you go. Yeah. Nice, buddy. Congrats. Thanks. Congrats, guys. You. There you go. So Good work. <laughs> Hopefully, you still got your shrimp on there. Your line held up. <laughs> yeah. You still got your shrimp on there, so that's good. There you go, so now you can reuse it. Yeah, we got those guys on the first fish. That is awesome. 31 inches too, not too bad. Not bad at all.